What is summer like? You went through spring down, mm-hmm. summer. Any different than last year as a true freshman? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. Uh, just a year, being able to prepare, being able to increase weight, get more uh, camaraderie with my teammates, do different team bonding uh, things. Um, we've been going at it a little bit more than we have, just more on the football side, trying to get the mental aspect of the game, watching more film together as units, going over small details, so that when fall camp comes around, we'll be pretty sharp. Comfortable with the new defensive scheme, or do you still study that night and day? Uh, you can never be too comfortable with anything, so you always just put the work in so that you can be best prepared, but I feel pretty, feel pretty good, like I'm in a good spot. What's the biggest difference from the previous defense? Um, communication and just like what, what you call things. Like everything's pretty much the same. It's just the terminology of it, really. Everybody has their own way of doing things, but defense is defense. A lot different for the will, though. I mean, do you have different run fits, different uh, The run fits are the same. The will, the will backer is like a mix of our bandit safety and our will, a traditional will backer. So you kind of out of the box more, and then, but it's still pretty much a backer. This this defense is going to look different when you guys get into camp, even mm-hmm. than it was in the springtime. Obviously, mm-hmm. just a couple guys leaving. Yeah. Just where where do you think the guys uh, at safety are going to be at? And just, I guess are you eager to see what where you guys are at as a defense? Uh, we we we've been doing things as far as like just trying to get people ready to play, making sure that people are ready to step up. We've um, had some adjustments. Uh, everybody's kind of taking a bigger role to try to help people out who haven't uh, necessarily played yet. So uh, I feel like everything's going to be good. As far as the leadership void, who are maybe some guys you're seeing step up? Um, Josh Norwood has uh, taken charge in the safety room. Sean Mahone, Jake Long, um, freshman Kerry Martin has been doing all right too. So it's pretty good back there. How impressive was that for a freshman too? That's pretty good. He was able to come in mid-year, the same thing I did. So it really did help him a lot. He's starting to get his confidence up more. So you're starting to see the better sides of him. What was the big help coming in at the mid-year, getting that little bit of head start before you get into this summer program? Haven't been through it and yeah. seen what Kerry's doing now. Yeah, it, it actually it helps a lot. Like it's it's actually better being able to take a step back and see how someone else progresses through it. But like you see big leaps. Like you might not notice yourself because you're taking it day by day. You're not seeing how much you're growing, but being able to take back, take a step back and see how he's been progressing is pretty good. So it was worth missing prom or whatever he might have. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That still don't really matter. How do the players handle when teammates leave? Um, it's kind of a see like it's never it's never a personal thing. We have our own separate relationships outside of how they felt about different things. So it's never like oh, I'm not if I'm not friends with him no more just because he left. So I mean we communicate with the guys. They've made decisions for their own life that they're just gonna take forward. It's not really that big of a deal really. But how do you separate the two? It's kind of already separated. Like you have your football life and then you got your locker room life. Like. Everybody is cool outside of here, so it's like just because you leave, you're not a different person. You just made a different decision than other people have. Giovanni Stewart. Yeah. You talked about leadership. You're still young, but do you take on that role yourself? Uh, yes, I've been uh, trying to take on more of a leadership role because I, I, I'm more experienced than a lot of people who have been here, even though I am younger. So I just try to take that and try to help out when I can, try to help out younger guys, the f- young freshmen coming in. We've actually started a, a Big Brother program, and I have uh, Tyke Smith. He's a spear for us. So we're in the same position room. I've been able to help him out and just kind of help guide him through different things, maybe some things I didn't get initially coming in, try to give him a little cheat codes just so he can be better prepared than I was. Does it, does it help being a younger player, learning a new defense, and being a player that's been in a defense for a couple of years and having to relearn? It's definitely being a younger, better being a younger player. Because like, if you're already older, you kind of already set in your ways, figured out a few things that work, so you kind of you're not as open and listening. But being a younger player, you can just kind of come in and absorb everything because you're already in a learning mindset, anyways. But not saying that you can't be an older player and do it, but it's definitely easier. You being younger.
even since the Big Brother program, you know, is that something Neil started? You guys had that, or how does that work? Yeah, that's something Coach Brown started. A lot of the things we, we've been doing, like as far as like player activities and stuff, is stuff that Coach Brown has started. Like he's actually been pushing for a lot of that, a lot of team camaraderie, just being around each other more, pushing for t more togetherness, which is ultimately going to help us better in the future. With all the team bonding activities like you're talking about that you guys have been doing, have you seen a change, seen an impact in the communication, just you guys all together being around each other more off the field and on the field as well? Yeah, we're definitely a lot a lot closer. Like I say before, I probably had like a good three or four people I was close with now. I can probably say I got about ten. Like it's just, you just become more comfortable, spend more time with each other. It just starts to become normal. How beneficial is that going to be 